top five business email providers hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you some of the best email business providers out there so having said that let's just jump into the video so there's not going to be a real order into it i'm just going to go ahead one by one and go over the ones that i've used that i've found to be very good and very effective and if you're wondering why you would need a business email well it's because a lot of smaller businesses or agents or business owners still use default mails like gmail or hotmail or yahoo but studies and research have shown that if you have a business email you will more likely to get responded to in emails in businesses in job interviews whatever so it's a handy tool to have and it's it should everyone should have one or two business emails so let's get into it so first up we have google workspace now google workspace offers all of the tools that you would need and they also have a very cool business email model as well you will need a domain if you are going to go ahead and get started with a business email no matter which service you choose you are going to need a domain so make sure you have it now i already have an account on google so i'm going to try to log in i don't know if it's still active i haven't used it in a while so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you so this is how it looks like when you first log in so i already had an account it's still here i can still use it but currently i need to go ahead and get started and get the plan again but that's fine here they can see this is how it looks like so it's a pretty simple option nothing too crazy so here you can see in the user section and here if i go ahead and click on it here you can see we have the email right here it's active this is the domain that i have and i've connected it with it i can use it with my standard gmail so i think there's might be a storage issue but it is what it is so we get also some other apps as well when we go ahead and sign into workspace we also get gemini so gemini google's ai we get exclusive access to it we can go ahead and get started with it chat with it generate images with it so if i click on chat with gemini i can go ahead and get started with it but currently i've canceled my subscription i can subscribe again by clicking on the subscribe button and getting started but click on add subscription and here you can see all the apps that are available so google's workspace essentials insightshell plus currently these are not available to me as of right now uh for some reason i don't know why but i can go ahead and get some add-ons but the workspace plans i don't understand they're not available as of right now we are in able to complete the purchase because the product you're purchasing has no one or more applications so it is weird but there should be a price i've switched my google profiles as well in case you were wondering why it looks pink and different so this is how it would cost so we've got the starter the standard the plus and the enterprise right and it's six dollars per month and you can start a trial over here twelve dollars for the standard 22 for the plus and you can see you get 30 gigabytes cool storage per person secure business email uh gemini ai assisted chat with the ai app video meetings google vids ai powered creator and, and you've got security and management control as well whereas if you go ahead and upgrade to a standard one immediately gives you a full boost it's like they're trying to get you to this so two terabytes 65 times more than Statter, secure custom business email, Gemini AI assistant, in Gmail, docs, meet, and more, AI search assistant, chat with AI, video meetings with recordings, noise cancellation, and 150 parts of them basically you know you get the gist of it you get everything so it's pretty cool i've used it in the past and i highly recommend you guys use it it works just like any other application just gives you a bunch of different options like you know ability to go ahead and connect your domain and create your business email anyway moving on we have outlook so in outlook you can see we have microsoft outlook I also have a business account over here i can show you although i don't know if that would work with outlook because sometimes it, it's weird um microsoft has multiple different accounts for different reasons you can use one account for specific applications but you can't use it for others i don't know i have it uh, over here let me try to log in and see what happens all right so i'm logged in and we should be good to go and i do have the basic plan so here you can see should load up over here it's taking some time there we go i do have the basic plan it is active so i should now be able to go ahead and lock in so over here you can speed up your work with more apps right 
So if you click over here, uh, you can get started with more apps, find third party solutions, connect with more customers over here. Here you can add users, here you have guests, everything. And here you can have set up. So you, here you can set up your organization, set up your work. So you can set up appointment scheduling and everything. So you get a bunch of different options within this. And you can also, of course, set up your email, which when you create an account, it'll automatically ask you to do that. So you would need a domain for that as well. And of course, you will need a plan. I already have that. So that's why I'm logged in. But for some reason, I don't see the Outlook app, even though it says right here in the basic one, it is available right here. Outlook apps and services included. And here you can get the custom business email. So I do have that yet. When I go ahead and log in, for some reason, I can't seem to log in i don't know it's so confusing like here you can see outlook right and if i try to sign in it should automatically detect maybe if i try to log in in the windows application that might work let me try that as well just in case yeah so it's not working even on the app it says that i can't log in with my business account or my work account or school account so it's totally weird i can log in with the 365 app i can go into office.com and i can log into that and that's what i'm using over here i can log into the microsoft account i can see everything over here i can see this is the main hub this is my where i can see everything about my account my role my marketplace my apps my co-pilot everything is available over here yet whenever i try to log in into outlook it doesn't work i i don't understand it's weird maybe i need to go ahead and set everything up over here i, I wanted to show you guys because i do have the account i just renewed the subscription as well so that should not be an issue as well but i don't know maybe it's weird i don't know even though it says right here in the plan that it is available outlook right here outlook right here outlook here outlook here so it's available i do have the basic one but i saw you can get the custom email which i have and you can use outlook you also get copilot yet i don't understand the issue it just can't sign in even in the help section it says right here if you they're saying that if you can sign in with your work account if not this issue should be related to your account right but i can log in into my account you can see right here it takes me right here into the m35 copilot where i can create agents and everything okay so analyzing this error it says that there's an error with my license it says that i don't have the correct license or an expired license but everything else is working and here we can see in the in this section right here uh where did the billing go in the product section active expired disabled right uh it's gonna load up you can see it's active and licenses okay so they are available 25 okay so i have to assign the license click on assign okay all right so i've now given myself the license and i don't see any outlook option i do get the power apps and the automated apps and everything else and the to-do list the license is now active and assigned do i need to go ahead and do it again anyway so this didn't work i don't understand maybe i'm missing something but moving on it did not work for me i suppose even though i got the plan i thought it might work but it didn't moving on we got zoho mail zoho mail again very similar to everything else to create a business email you need to go ahead and sign up sign up is free you will however need a domain so i'm going to go ahead and sign up and for zoho of course you need to go ahead and add an existing domain so we're going to click over here provide the domain that you have and i'm going to go ahead and log into hostinger and get my domain which is over here now we can go ahead and get started and industry type i would say that tech click on add now and we're going to go ahead and set up everything so pretty cool your domain is addict successfully now let's go ahead and verify the domain now we're going to add the dns records and stuff like that right so this is it so here all you got to do is add a text document all right you've got a bunch of different options this is the one that's recommended you can add a c name record and everything so we have identified your manager is hostinger log into your hostinger dns and now add a txt record copy paste the txt value over here you can see so we're going to go into the domain section click on manage or click over here go or just simply go into dom manage and underneath manage you'll find dns records click on the tx record this is going to be the name here is the name leave it blank don't worry you can even go ahead and add or leave it blank this is the main option right here the text value and you may wait for 30 minutes to one day so uh this is you gotta go ahead and set 
for time to load. So I'll just go with 300 and click on add DNS record. So now we got it. There you go. So, no, that's not the one. This is the one right here. This is the whole verification. So now once that's done, you can wait for 30 minutes to one day. Once the record has been added and verified, we should be good to go. But there we go. That's now verified. It will take a little while to go ahead and register everything, but we got this. Now you can go ahead and set up your ownership and your domain. So here we go. Here's going to be your login, create the name. This is going to be your email right here. Boom. Email created boom we got it and see how easy it was microsoft i don't understand got the plan says it right here it's available got the license assigned the license as well but still didn't work boom you got it this is your email right here you should be good to go so here you can set up groups dns we oh, already done that but boom there you go so you can add your imports roles everything you can add multiple over here this is your uh, domain council over here you can proceed to set up groups proceed to set up hosting summaries go back over here you know basically you find everything up and you should be good to go so once that's done click over here you can set up groups i don't have a group nor do i want to so i'll just skip this and proceed to dns mapping and these are all the records that you need to go ahead and add and okay you can see right here we have identified your hosting account now add the records following dns once you verify the domain you'll be good to go we've already done most of them you can verify them over here priorities are available right here so make sure you do all of this then you have email migration where you will go ahead and get all of your emails from your other services that you're using migrate them over here download the app and you're all set boom i just wanted to show you how easy it is to go ahead and set everything up because i could not with microsoft i thought i would show you that but anyway moving on we have neo emails so neo is also very similar to zoho and other applications this one although is different uh pricing is right here you can see right here one of the cool things about zoho this one was free i did not have to buy any plan or anything else i did cost me almost 15 dollars, but that was other one i used the free plan they also provide a free plan so this one is everything free so you should be good to go so i'll just skip all of this and click on check your inbox boom so again moving back over here neo it starts at two dollars per month you can save 20 percent yearly otherwise it's going to be 250 a month then we have the then we have the popular one this is going to be 499 per month and then we have the max which is going to be ten dollars per month down below you can see all of their features and the space you're getting so keep that in mind but yeah pretty cool and finally we have titan titan is also very similar the price on it is different. You can click on get Titan over here. Enter your current email address. Click on get Titan. And you should be good to go. They don't give you a plan or anything. If you want to become a Titan. Well, of course, you're going to have to fill out this form. And then they'll get back to you later on. But yeah, this, that's why I didn't couldn't show you. But yeah, these were some of the best ones out there. I recommend going with Google first since it's easy. It's simple to set up and everything. And then I would say if you want a quick e-business email and you don't want to pay 15, 16, 20 dollars, go with Zoho. They have a free plan available and you should go ahead and set that up as well. And once that's done, if not this, then I guess you can go with Microsoft, but some make sure you purchase the correct plan. But even though it says right here, I I don't know what happened with that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next time, take care and goodbye.